Well, Ari, I've got a question for you that's live, and your answer is going to impl- I'm going to apply it today, right? So, oh, okay, real time, huh? Real time, real time. Now, I'm in the water consultation business. I do home demos. Now, occasionally, it doesn't happen often, but I have a, a great meeting, uh, and I know it's a great meeting because when I leave, I say to myself, "Did I apply pressure? No. Did I listen? Yes." And I and I think, great. And I leave the conversation and then I, I do the follow up of some sort. I don't usually do that, but if I feel inclined um, and then this is the question. So they reply back. In this case, this gentleman replied back by text and he said, yes, Sam, we want to go ahead. I thought, good. That's like, great. And I replied and I said, no problem. All I need is the picture of those two, uh, the paperwork I left you. And just send it to my mobile and i'll get that organized for you tumbleweeds <laughs> now this happens this only happens once before and i blew it as well so i don't want to i guess the question is what do i say to this guy do i ring him do i send him a text back to say hey man where's your paperwork you wanted to go ahead you contacted me <laughs> you know does that make sense it sure makes sense sam yeah and what you have to understand is that text is not a place to make the sale. Yep. You made the assumption that through the text he wanted to order and you replied back in your process on text, right? Well, let me put some context why I said I don't, I don't normally like to send texts at all, but um, I find that I call people, well, this guy, I called him and I knew he wasn't going to answer because he didn't answer the first time, right? So my then default is I send a text. No, that's okay. That's okay that you texted him and you got the response. But why didn't you right. call him when he texted you? Um, be, well, f- historically, I knew he wouldn't answer. But he, he texted you. He's on his phone. Yeah, so what I'm suggesting to you is yeah. make them talk to you, Sam. Right, right, right. Because this is what happens. They throw some quick answer to you on text. It disappears in the ether somewhere, and you got a black hole and a wall. And you got nowhere to go. See what yeah. I would have done if the text would have come through. I would have said, "I just got your text." Add the voice so they can feel that Sam feeling again. And yeah. I wanted to ask you if you wouldn't mind. Could you please just send over X, Y, and Z, and we can go from there. Maybe it's a voicemail. Leave the voicemail too, but don't reply back on text. Mm, mm. don't do what the customer wants <laughs> i know it sounds so contrarian but look yep. what happens when you do if you use channels like that yeah the, you run the risk of being shut down i i prefer i prefer if you call them let the message isn't call you back then fine let him yep. do the work to find you again okay well the only small challenge with that is that some people they only got these 10 second things or whatever on their messages but but Does let's he say 10 seconds on his sorry does he have 10 seconds on his? Um, I, well, but you, yeah, I, don't, I can't remember, but your point's valid. I will certainly do that. Well, let me no put this scenario to you because sure. I did that yeah. with my last guy, right? It's only happened twice. Go ahead. So the other guy, I did that. I actually rang him and he said to me on the phone, he said, oh, yes, yeah, Sam, we had a chat and we want to go ahead. And I said, great. All you need to do is send me the paperwork, tumbleweeds again. So with him, I ended up, after about three, four days, I sent him an apology text. Or oh, like hold that. on a minute. How yep. much do you, you don't have to tell me exactly, but how much do you make per sale on average? One, one deal. One deal is about 500 bucks. Okay. What if you spent $35, Sam, and you said, look, say the guy's John. John, I'm going to send you a courier. It's going to arrive at your place tomorrow morning, eight o'clock. He'll pick up the paperwork and send it back to me. Please have it ready. Right. Hmm. Okay. See, what you're doing is you're assuming he's excited to do paperwork, fill out a form, and send it back to you. That's the last yeah. thing they want to do. They want their their solution, not the paperwork done. Mm-hmm. You're 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 assuming that they want to. You're not assuming it. It's just that no one wants to fill paperwork out. Have the courier pick up the paperwork at a certain time. You got to put structure, Sam, around that process for onboarding, and you're leaving that hole right there up to them to do it. Yep. That makes no sense. Well, I guess the other option is I can say I'll come around and pick up the paperwork. Either way, 
Mm-hmm. You got to get them to understand what your process is. Your process is you fill out paperwork, we pick up. No unloading, no emailing, no texting. No, don't, no, we will pick it up from you, which means there's a commitment he's making to having it ready for the pickup. Okay. Mm, like Add that. that one step <clears throat> in, Sam. Mm. Uh, just you can tr- test the courier one just for fun for one yeah. person. I'm gonna have a courier sent to arrive at your place at eight o'clock. Will that work for you? Will be ready by then? Yeah. Okay. See oh, what happens. Right. That's good. I like that. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. So you got don't it. reply to the text. Don't fall into the trap. <laughs> no, don't fall into the trap where you get stuck into a black hole and there's no way out. Yeah. Okay. Stick with the human touch and let's see how they respond. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Thank you Good again. to see you. Always.